What's up YouTube? Thank you for tuning in for another video. Sorry I haven't been active, uh, busy with school, but I'm glad to be back. Uh, drop another video for you guys. This is my first video of 2021, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, see what kind of content I can uh, upload. I did recently get some new pickups. Uh, actually right here is one of them. I've been wanting these for a while now. Uh, I still need a pair of uh, Fire Red 4s. See with the Nike Air in the back. Such a clean shoe. Then I also got a pair of Bel Air 5s. Um, honestly, this is not really a shoe that I would like wear. But I could probably use this as like a beater. Uh, just because I want to keep these icy. Then I got a new pair of 3s. I know. Just the, these were, these actually went on sale like a couple of years back, but yeah, I kind of regret not buying it then, and I got these first steel, so really happy I got these. If you guys didn't know already, this was a sneaker that you could change the switch with. It came with like three other, or four, four all together, change the switch, like that. Yeah, well, I just chose this one, because 3M looks fire when Put the flash on it, reflect the eye. So from the title of this video, you guys probably know what this video is going to be about. So let's get right into it. All the shoes I'm about to show you guys are around the $100 range, Canadian. So I know some people can't afford Jordans and they want like a shoe that's fashionable but like affordable. So, you know, I'm bougie on the budget. You know, I got some pairs. So the first sneaker that I feel like is affordable is the Nike Blazer. Uh, I have this colorway and with the purple swoosh. I think I got these on sale as well, around $70. Honestly, if you think about it, it's like a good alternative to the Jordan 1. It's a high cut shoe. You can wear it with some nice denim, nice cargos. Perfectly with pretty much anything. This is purple, so it's pretty hard to match. But you can get other colorways. They have the black swoosh, which is really popular. So I recommend those. I just got purple because my favorite color. The second sneaker on my list is I feel like uh, almost every sneakerhead has in their collection. That's a pair of Air Force Ones. I got these. I'm not sure. I forget what they call it. I think they call like. Slogan basketball. I did do a lace swap. The original laces were white. These, I got an Air Force custom. Custom made by actually my cousin. Shout out to her. I'll put her at in the description below. The Air Force one is just a timeless sneaker. Like it's an all white, the white on white, 7 1, mostly have these. You can just wear with anything. Uh, they retail for 120 Canadian, I'm pretty sure. And I also did a lace swap on these. This is the other side. Yes, sir. Mr. Obito, my favorite Naruto character. Yes, sir. And then, my second favorite character, Kakashi. All you anime heads, it's for you. The third pair on my list is a pair of Air Max 1s. This is my only Air Max 1 colorway. I wish I had more. I wish I had the anniversary ones, like the red ones. Been trying to get those, but prices on them are pretty high. They skyrocketed since they released. So, her next one, back, so backwards, so Nike logo. Yeah, these ones are weird. So look at the tongue, it's like inside out. I think that's what they call it, too. So, the fourth sneaker on my list is a pair of Reebok Classics. Yes, I wear other brands other than Nike and Jordan. I think I got these. Like four years ago, I'd say. And people used to roast me in school. But I did not care. I wear what the fuck I wanted. Sorry for swearing. Yes, sir. And look, these are actually popular now. I see some people wearing these now. The Reebok Classic. This is the, I think it's like one of the classic colorways. It was the white, all white, and then the other one was the all black. But I didn't want the all black ones. You know, Black Air Force energy. <laughs> but yeah, these, you can tell that I wear these like a lot. These are so beat. I think this was like my beer in ninth grade. 
And yep, the Reebok Classic sleeper shoe, underrated. Now for my last affordable sneaker, uh, you guys probably already know what it's gonna be if you've seen my previous videos, aka my favorite sneaker of 2020. Yes sir, the Air Max 90 or the Air Max 30. This sneaker retails for 160 I think, except for the OG colorways, the infrareds, and then the laser blues, I think they retail for 180. But you can get the other colorways, the orange one, the green one, the turquoise, I think it had a bold colorway, and then some dark blue. I think they're on sale right now, man. They're sitting on shelves, so. Can get those. Obviously, these are my two favorite colorways, just because they're OGs. Infrared and laser blues. Oh, this one does, this one does. And I do have some honorable mentions, which is just a pair of bands. I beat these so much, look at these. So, these I actually recently got, I just like the, the look of them. They kind of look like the Revenge Storms. Which are these bootleg bands. Yeah, to be honest, I don't even know why I bought these. But overpriced vans right here. Lace up Rocky. You would always do the yellow lace swap. So, so that's what I did. Thank you, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. It really means a lot. Really appreciate it. Um, if you like more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button, the like and comment. Maybe your favorite sneaker in the video. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. Stay tuned for more videos. Let's get right into the on feet.